Hey guys, Andy here, and we're back for episode two of our computer building series. All of the parts have come in, so we're ready to move on to the next step, which is gonna be to unbox all of our goodies and to set up and organize our work area. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but when you're dealing with so many different components, you really have to keep track of where all your stuff is. Screws, cables, instructions, they're all essential to the build. If you don't have a dedicated space at home that you can set up to do this, don't worry about it. I don't either. I'm gonna be taking over my living room for the next couple of days, and I'm sure my wife is gonna love it. But what the heck, I can't very well throw everything on the floor and work on my knees, right? Let's get to it. We're gonna set up right here on our coffee table because we have plenty of workroom, we have pretty decent lining, and I also brought this little extra table for some more space. Here's the box of Newegg with all of our goodies inside it. And basically the only tools you're gonna need, which are gonna be some electrical tape, just in case you might not even need that, a Phillips head screwdriver and a couple of pliers in case we need to either cut or retrieve something, maybe we drop a screw or something like that. Over here is the computer case, which I'm hoping is not as big as that box because otherwise it's going to be gigantic. I'm hoping there's a lot of styrofoam I can get rid of. And on top, some of the parts we were able to cannibalize from our old machine, including some extra fans, our Blu-ray drive, this is the power supply unit, lots of cables and two three terabyte hard drives which we're going to be using in the new build this is my desk this is where i spend most of my life uh, don't mind the cables down there they'll be disappearing very soon i am actually ocd about cable management so you won't be able to see any of those they're there now because i rewired my work computer last night and that one is invisible now you can't even see where it is it's not that one that's my home computer the one we're replacing the two monitors on the right are for work and the monitor on the left is for home use I got my iPad for some gaming and the only company I need while I work, Broly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the case so that we can get rid of this gigantic box. I wanna take it out and make sure that it's not dented because sometimes that can happen during shipment and if we need to get an exchange, that's gonna delay our build quite a bit. It, that it's easier to flip these guys and then slide the box up. You're gonna try to pull that thing out, you're gonna get a hernia. And then just carefully remove the styrofoam, making you sure you don't bang it up. Some of these things are pretty delicate as far as the material they made out of. Uh, if they were any better, they'd be a lot more expensive too. So, all right, now I want to set it on its legs so that we don't scratch the sides and looks good I like the size I like the simplicity I like the oh this is gonna look beautiful once our, all our components are in there and shining this thing is gonna look beautiful I don't see any scratches it comes with a protective film on top oh there's a tiny scratch here at the bottom I think we can live with it I'm not that I'm not that OCD well, almost, but not quite. Okay, once we make sure that the case is okay, we can move on to the really interesting components. This is where all the juicy stuff is. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box first, and then we'll open each one and see what we got. Anytime you see a new egg box, you just, you just immediate happiness. Here's our processor, tiny, tiny thing. This is $400 in this little tiny box, something like that. SSD drive for our OS. We have two small ones. This is the RAM that we're gonna be using, 32 gigs total. Stack these here on top of each other. And then the really big stuff. Oh, what should we start with? I don't know, okay, let's just start with this one. Oh, this is our water cooling unit. And uh, like I said in the first video, I'm so excited to open this bad boy up. I haven't looked at it yet. I left the unboxing to do it with you guys. Ah, I can't wait to open that. Ah, my God, we almost lost, this, lost the big box. We got our motherboard. And so that means the last thing in this box is going to be our RTX 2070, our graphics card. I'm also very excited to look at this thing. The last one I bought was maybe this big. I have a feeling this baby is going to be massive. We also have over here our two little fans, we have our Blu-ray drive, our two hard drives, three terabytes each for a total of six terabytes, plus the SSD, that's seven terabytes of storage. If we need more than that, we have issues. We, we are data hoarders. And this is our power supply, which like I mentioned in the video, I had bought maybe a year ago and had been sitting in my garage forever, so we can finally open. Look, it's still sealed. 
I wasn't sure what to open first because I want to open everything at the same time, but I've decided to go for small items first, put them on the side, and then move on to the big stuff, all right? So the very first thing we chose when we were building our computer was the processor. So what better thing to start with than the processor? How do you open this thing? Never mind, wrong side. Here we go. It's a tiny, tiny sticker on this side. Now this is such an unassuming little piece, but its importance is just, it can't be overstated. This is all it is, guys. It is tiny, it costs a lot of money, and it's beautiful. This is it. I'll give you a closer look in a little bit with a different camera. This little piece does all of the thinking on your machine, other than processing graphics. That's what the, the graphics card does. Don't take it out of the plastic container until you're ready to put it in the machine. You don't want to touch any of these connections down here. Set it on the side and leave it there until you're ready to go. We're going to keep the instructions, although there's really not, 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 not much you can do wrong with a processor. It only fits one way or it doesn't fit. Next up, the SSD. This is our one terabyte SSD we were able to snag for that amazing price and this is gonna make our computer fly. Now these sometimes come with a little adapter or a tray where you put this on and then it fits in one of your 3.5 inch, um, 3.5 inch? What, what is it? Anyway, whatever it is. But I don't think we need one for this one because this is, uh, our case comes with like a, a place where you can put the SSD, it fits right in. Next up we have our four RAM sticks. Nice, again, I'm not gonna take it out of the little plastic container until we're ready to pop it into the machine. One here. And one here. 32 gigs total. I'm gonna move on to the bigger components. I'm gonna take them out and then I'm probably gonna put them on the little table on the side because I want all of this space to work on. I don't wanna use up any, any more of this space to put parts. This is gonna be our work area. Up next, we're gonna do the power supply unit. And I'm not sure if this is full modular or half modular. Uh, remember I mentioned in the first video you wanna go with modular because if you're doing a clean build, then it reduces the amount of cables that are sitting inside of your case. All right, here we go. I see a lot of loose cables, that's a good sign. So you see all of these you can put on and off the actual component, and unless you need them, they won't be sitting there ugly in your case. So the only cables that are not removable are the ones that you need for sure. These cables connect to the motherboard and provide power to the motherboard. So you're gonna need them regardless of whether you wanna have them or not. They're gigantic cables, but they're an absolute necessity, so they come attached to the component. You can't remove these. Okay, and we're, we're gonna set it right back down there on the bubble wrap so that we don't scratch it. The rest of the cables connect to these guys. And if you don't need them, then you don't have to connect them. Whenever you need one, you just pop it in. You just pop it in. You just pop it in. Is this the right one? Wait, not need this guy. Whenever you need them, you just pop it into the plug here and you're good to go. You don't need it anymore and you wanna get rid of it, just unplug it and put it away. That's it for the PSU. I'm gonna put it on the side so we can keep this space open. Let's get to the cooling next, and you guys know I'm excited about this one, so let's get it on. Okay, this one doesn't come taped, so I can just open this top. And... All right, anticlimactic styrofoam. And there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot more in here than I thought there would be. Oh my God, this thing comes Okay, so we're gonna have to assemble this. Uh, let's see what we got. This is the piece, yeah, this is the piece that connects to the processor, and it comes attached to the radiator. These are already pre-filled. You don't have to fill any liquid in here. You can, if for whatever reason it, it, something happens and you need to, there's a cap here that you can remove and put liquid in. But these come pre-filled, so there's nothing I need to do as far as liquid. All we need to do is attach it, install it, and it should be ready to run. Now, I'm gonna treat that very carefully because I don't want any of these hoses to break. Then we have uh, the two fans that mount on the radiator. These are power cables, fan hub. This is the controller, I think. No, this is, I have no idea what this is. We'll figure it out. This is the extra light strip that came with the, with the unit and this is all mounting hardware, I am going to assume. Yeah, this looks like what you use to mount it to the board or the processor. All right, that's a lot of stuff and this is the first time I'm gonna be installing one of these guys. So it's gonna take a while, but we'll figure it out. And then if you have to do it, at least you'll have some reference. And if I mess it up, then I mess it up and hopefully you don't. Put everything back in there. Instructions, we are definitely gonna need these. And I'm just gonna sit this unit back here on top. All right, there we go. 
Let's move on to the next one. Up next is the motherboard. Let's go ahead and get this boy, bad boy out. And you notice this mystic light thing? Uh, keep that in your mind because we're gonna see it again soon and it's gonna explain why I mentioned getting different components from the same manufacturer during the first video. Here we go. All right. Use this tab to pick it up. Now, uh, with the motherboard, you're gonna get a bunch of stuff. You're gonna get drivers, you're gonna get a massive instruction sheet. Keep this. You will absolutely need this or you will not be able to set up your damn computer. Do not, under any circumstances, get rid of the instructions ever. Even after you build it and you've been using it for five years, if you wanna change anything or if you wanna take it apart and put it in a new case, you're most likely gonna need to reference this again. So keep your instructions somewhere safe uh, where you're not gonna lose track of them because you might have to reference them at a later date. We're also gonna get uh, some extra stuff that we're gonna we're gonna figure out when we do the actual install. This is the back plate that goes into the case where all of the little plugs come out the back so you can plug all your peripherals and your monitors and everything in. These are Wi-Fi antenna, some SATA cables, and I'm not sure what these are. We'll figure it out eventually. Let's look at the motherboard. So I'm gonna take this bad boy out of this. Ooh, it's heavy. It's always a good sign when a motherboard is heavy. It comes with a little badge. We might put that on the case. I kind of like the dragon on it. It's got a red dragon on it. Okay, now when you take this guy out, set it back down right on this black bag that it comes with. This is an anti-static bag and you don't really want to set this guy down somewhere, anywhere near metal. All right, here we go. So we have all of our connections back here in the back, all of our plugs for audio, Wi-Fi, USB, all of that good stuff. We have the three slots if we wanted to run triple video card. Jesus, who would ever do that? But anyway, we're gonna be using only one of these, uh, top or middle, we won't be using the bottom one. These are our slots for our RAM, for our memory sticks, and this is where the processor sits. It looks great, I'm gonna put it back in the box and put it on the side. And last, but definitely not least, we have our graphics card, our RTX 2070 8 gigabyte video card, which I cannot wait to try. So this one comes shrink wrap. I'm gonna grab my trusty knife here, just insert it anywhere, make a little tear, and then you can just tear the rest of it off. This isn't an elegant unboxing video. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm excited to put my new machine on, man. Those people that do the beautiful videos, they're not actually gonna use those machines. They just, uh, they just do it for the views. I do it for the pleasure. So set that on the side and crack it open. Oh, I'm feeling this thing is gonna be massive. It weighs a good, shoot, I don't know, over five pounds, five or six pounds, something like that. All right, anything in there we need to know about? Nope, no, nope, nothing shakes out. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Are you ready? Is it gonna be under here or is there gonna be more? Oh, there's more, <laughs> what a tease. What a tease. So there's another thing here. I don't know what this is. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, oh my God, more stuff. Jesus, let me look at my video card already. Wow. This thing is massive. Oh, holy crap. All right, I'm gonna lift the whole styrofoam and just kind of push from the bottom, make it poke out. Oh my lord, no wonder these things are so expensive. What the actual hell? Holy crap, look at the size of this. This is my arm. This is my arm for reference. Look at the size, it's my entire forearm. Oh my god, okay. All right, all right, let's take it out of the bag. A little tape in the back, pop that tape. Oh lord almighty. I should show you my old one for reference, man. Oh. Look at this baby. We are we are gonna do some close-ups of this thing like a pinup girl because I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited. I am getting very excited. This thing is amazing. Oh, super clean back on it. There's all the different connections you can use. I think it's a DisplayPort HDMI. Yeah, no DVI on this old boy. I might need an adapter for my monitors. Holy mama, that's beautiful. I forgot to mention the video card also comes with drivers, which you're gonna need. Although they're usually outdated by the time you install them, you usually just install them and then you immediately have to go on the web and update them. And remember the Mystic Light that I mentioned before. This is why I, I chose to go with two components from the same manufacturer. Having these two BMSI is gonna allow me to configure all the lighting inside of the case 
to make it all match. So if we want like a wave pattern or if we want a pulsating pattern or something like that, uh, the graphics card and the motherboard are gonna match. And I think that's gonna look really, really cool. With that, we've reached the end of the unboxing video. I am gonna go have some alone time with this uh, beautiful baby. And I'll see you guys next time for the assembly. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.